Keith, I, I would love to hear your comments. Um, I, I hear a lot of dentists that are concerned about about sequelae and side effects as far as occlusion and bruxism and, and some of the appliances and, and, and informed consent. I mean, you've had so many years of experience. Put this in perspective. Um, the, one of the things is, as I was saying, uh, I was an occlusal dentist from Pankey Institute. I, I grew up doing that and uh, being able to put teeth together and functioning teeth and uh, the what my focus is in making sure that we don't move teeth. We don't move teeth. Once you put that AM aligner in, we can prevent that. And so uh, there is virtually not uh, significant problems with that. We always give informed consent that that could happen. The studies show that those people that are in a class two, it actually improves their occlusion. You can do a little equilibration and they go, God, I look mm -hmm. better. <laughs> so the, there's some benefit uh, from that if you want to move their jaw forward. They actually have uh, prevented some orthognathic surgery by growing their jaw. So that's uh, a little more sophisticated, but uh, you certainly can prevent any tooth movement and any jaw position movement if you have the patient do it right every morning. Mm -hmm. It's very, very uh, conclusive on this and, and we don't do it. So that has always been my focus. Anybody listens to me, I say this about four different times. I put it in my records. I've told the patient, he's written it down. Every time they come in, if you uh, don't wear this, you, your teeth could move. And so there's a w real way to prevent it. And if it does move, you ask the patient, have you been wearing it? You haven't. So the, there's some, you know, like anything in dentistry, there's a little bit of downside risk. There's a lot less downside risk uh, in this than giving an injection. In over 500,000 appliances that our company has made, and I'm not gonna say how really many, but at least at the 500,000 mark, we had had no complaints by the FDA of moving teeth. None. And, and wow and no yeah. real complaints from patients. Now, for, for my whole career, I've always looked at Dr. Gordon Christensen as a, a, an unbiased evaluator of clinical devices. D did you have an opportunity to have uh, Dr. Christensen and the CR group take a look at I this? I did, uh, a number of years ago, and I went and visited with Gordon, and uh, uh, certainly Gordon understands occlusion, and, <laughs> you know, about as much as uh, anybody in the uh, business, and explained him exactly the same way, uh, gave him all my literature, he reviewed it, and um, it came about pretty much what I said, you know, there was no real negative about it, and he gave some of the same information, but really was very complimentary. I was uh, excited, I mean, he's like uh, G.V. Black or somebody like that, yes. Panky or uh, any of these guys, and you go, Man, that's a uh, real compliment to me. I, uh, I was thrilled. So oh, that's great. Congratulations. Anyway, just, that's, that's it was great. fun for me. Well, thanks. I, I appreciate I learned a lot today, and it was a pleasure to talk with you. Oh, it's a delight. Thank you very much.